So if a Democrat now steps up and says, hey, you're killing us here. We can't take this many people. And keep in mind, the country as a whole has taken in something like 7 million illegal since Joe Biden fell asleep in the White House, face first in his two scoops of ice cream. Um, and Eric Adams has seen about 110,000 of those, give or take. And he says it's going to destroy what some people consider the greatest city in the world. And he gets called a bigot, the black Trump. Wow. Kind of harsh. It's very harsh. Uh, but, it, you know, he's accurate. And so I think the by uh, Yeah, you're right. 110,000 people going into New York City. Uh, they're having an impact. And the response, I think, you've, that you've seen over the weekend from the Biden administration is we're going to come up with a plan and we're going to keep all of those people that come across the border illegally. We're going to keep them in Texas. And it's like, you know, they and it's like, uh, excuse me, why don't you just think about securing the border and not letting any more people come in the country illegally? Why don't you think about deporting some of the people that have come across the border illegally? That fixes the problem. Let's get back to managed immigration rather than this chaotic situation that uh, the Biden administration has created over the last three years. And I think the other thing they said over the weekend, President Biden has done everything that he can to fix the border. And, and now it's Congress's job uh, to do the rest. And it's, you know, you can tell the Biden administration is starting to finally feel uh, the pressure from the impact of this strategy of mass illegal immigration that he put in place on day one of his administration. Well, it's hurting progressives, Pete, that's for sure. Whether it's New York City, where uh, they're doing the same similar things in place like Chicago. Uh, and what I mean by that is uh, hotels, that were once uh, nice hotels have now become squatting grounds, if you will, for illegals, uh, tent camps and so forth. But more concerning to the citizens, certainly in Chicago, we've seen this, uh, where playgrounds in, in communities have been turned into, you know, camps for homeless, taking away from the local citizens, the kids can't use the campgrounds, turning schools into camps for homeless and so forth, uh, public accommodations for uh, these illegals and so forth, it, it, it really does not sit well with people that have traditionally voted progressive, Democrat, liberal, whatever you want to call it. And, and I think it's a turning point in some places. Why would you continue to vote for people that continue to dump on you as an American citizen? Citizenship is supposed to matter, Pete. And apparently to the Biden administration, it really doesn't matter. And that's what the people are seeing in New York and Chicago and cities all over this country. 